Make it look sort of flash on. What's going on, everyone? You're here with Fizz if you need to know. Today, we're going to make French toast. It's going to be so simple. We're going to be here for the whole process. Now, come take a look. We already got the butter bur burning. You want to use a lot and you want to put it low, like real low. I got the cast iron. We already got the batter. It's over here. Come take a look. Eggs. We got the cinnamon, and then we threw in some vanilla extract. Okay, let's go look at the bread. We got oats so healthy. It doesn't matter, you just need bread. Put it back on our face. The butter's burning, it's perfect. So we're gonna dip the bread in the mixture, and we're gonna put it on there. There's a tip I'm gonna tell you right now, but it takes a day before, but we're not doing it, because I heard some fatties in the store talk about it. They're not fat, I'm not calling them anything. They said you can put the mixture in the night before and let the bread soak it up. But obviously you need a big mixture and you need to get it like that. So we wanna get it real sloppy and we're gonna throw it in the pan. The pan's already rolling, like I said. And then if you'd like, it's all about the timing. You can turn the temperature up. You wanna get to medium high when the toast hits. Or you can just cook it super slow. Actually, when you cook things slow, they're always going to turn out better. Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. I'll even give you a piece. Virtually. <laughs> and don't overwhelm. Like, that's enough for two. I'm not going to be able to do more than two until it's over. As our toppings... We use butter to lay it down, obviously, but I got maple honey right here, and then I got blueberries I'm gonna throw on top of it. And if you would let these sit overnight in the mixture, if you put your blueberries, your vanilla, your cinnamon in the batter of the eggs, and you could throw milk in if you'd really like to, you can throw a bunch of things in. You let it soak overnight, the bread will soak up the moisture, and boom, you will love it. I've never done it before, but I get it. Flavor takes time. Also, the drier the bread, the more it picks up the moisture, which hence soaking over time. These are gonna be fire. <laughs> I think that's all we need for the video, to be honest. That's pretty much it. Unless you want to see us eat it, too. <laughs> Have a nice day. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe to the channel. Give a like. Tell your friends about it. Tell yourself about it. Tell me about it. And experience below. Thanks for tuning in.